to the light. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going live. Everybody wants a morning cook? That's right. Okay. Hi, Mike. How are we doing? Coffee Con 2012. I need to get more coffee. Michelle, stick your head in. Right there's Coffee Con 2012. Oh, sorry. We just had our first medical accident here. Um, get the ambulance. We're going to be broadcasting. Michelle's, I think we're going to have to amputate her foot. There are all kinds of people coming around. So people we're going to see who we this place up. And you can come see so, Mike, talk to our audience. Could be worse. Obviously, it's the end of February, and we're experiencing pretty nice weather as well as a lot, as well as a great winter thus far. So, I'm going to get the pleasure in a little bit of introducing some of the masterminds of this event. See, Mr. Kevin Sinek and his beautiful wife Pat Sinek or Patricia Sinek, who are really responsible for getting this thing going. It's quite a show. There's probably, I don't know, even know how many booths. I walked around earlier, there's probably, how many booths? 50, 100 booths? Maybe. And people are starting to roll in, starting to get a little big crowd. Uh, it's a good thing. Anyway, Kevin, uh, I've known, and Patricia, for a couple of years. And Mr. Kevin said it happens to be the foremost coffee brewing expert in the world, as well as the author of The Art of Craft Coffee. And I'm going to get introduced him to the crowd. I believe he has an engagement there, as well as there's a number of uh, different uh, classes that are going on for the most part of the day. So we're looking forward to it. We're trying to get somebody to come up there and say hello. And we're going to see what happens. We've got I'm going to have to get a list. We need to get a list of the uh, folks that uh, are attending. Get out to see the where they are. Bear with me. Push this. I'm doing good. Gonna have to scoot over a little bit. 
get up here and dog on uh, the gravel problems with the glare. Yeah, sure. It's All right, what's your name, sir? Hector. Hector Fuster. Hector Fuster? Right. Hector, where are you from? From Wheaton, Illinois. Where are you from Wheaton? That's pretty close by, huh? And yes. Kind of excited to be here. You had any coffee yet today? Yes, I had a cup of espresso this morning. Oh, you did? Yeah. Prior to getting here. Prior to getting here. And you're looking to get a couple more cups uh, yeah, try to as we go on. Sure. Uh, I'd like to meet, mention that we are at CoffeeCon 2012 in uh, Warrenville, Illinois. How'd you find out about this? I saw this in your Herald uh, newspaper. The Herald newspaper, next to Sweden is uh, well, the, well, north, the north, northwest, and west suburbs. Oh, the northwest and west suburbs. Yeah. Uh, very good. So, anything specific you're looking for today? Just to get exposed to more ideas and coffee. Yes. I don't drink a lot, but I do drink, I like to drink quality. So quality. Yeah. Okay. Well, are you looking from the standpoint of beans? Are you looking from the standpoint of green? Are you looking from the standpoint of green? Uh, no. yeah. All right. Okay. From the standpoint of brewing, basically. Going to sample some brewing? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So, Hector? We appreciate it. And your name? My name's Mike Bowler. I'm with Media Buying Marketing. We social or simplify social media. If you like one of those, please grab what business are you in, Hector? I'm retired. Happily retired. Boy, <laughs> we should all be so lucky. All right, well enjoy yourself. Have a great time Thank here. Tell your friends you. about us and I shall. make sure you check this out. Right. Thank you. Very good. Bye. There's a uh, a lot of different people here right now, as a matter of fact. So uh, it's gonna be some fun and Quite frankly, I need some coffee. It'll be a good thing. And fortunately, we're in a, uh, a site that the uh, sun isn't helping out much. But you know what? That's okay. That is all right. So, uh, you know, I got a question. Uh, I think we ought to find out what kind of business these guys are. They might be in the business of dealing with. Wow. Unfortunately, it helps my eyes, but you can't see anything on it. So we need the sun streaming in the uh, entire time. And the individuals that come in are still looking at that computer, just look right to the camera. So we're out there. We have Fred McMurray on point, and I say that dog can still hunt. He's out trying to pick up a few, uh, I don't know what you call them, perhaps you call them the attendees. Or I was going to say victims, but actually it's more like attendees. And uh, let's see if they come over our channel with us. By the way, if you are, you have to be watching this. I know we're going to be doing a live uh, blog talk radio show uh, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. So if you have an opportunity, you need to go to linklocalnetwork.com website, click on radio show, and it's going to be live. Have a seat, man. I'm doing good. How are you? Dave Jackson, nice to meet you. Come on in. Here's the camera. You need to kind of uh, look at that and maybe get a little closer to me. But believe me, <laughs> I'm not doing it on purpose. That's so, okay. We're getting what? close to that time to right. uh, do the announcement. Okay, what's with the so. All right, Michelle Rimple's going to do, uh, she's going to take my place. She's going to sit by Gail and me anyway, man. That works for me. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. How you doing? Hi, hey, good. I'm good. So we're happy to be uh, broadcasting live on Internet TV. I can get to myself here. All right. So what's your name? Uh, my name is David Jackson. David Jackson. So why are you here today? Uh, we're actually uh, we're working with News Marketing Group. Yeah. And, uh, we also run a college uh, scholarship program as well. Okay. Uh, we're being sponsored as well as we work with the Sometimes Media Group. Oh, okay. So we're here basically to inform everybody about some great specials we have going on. Oh, okay. Uh, which is all of our products, the Sometimes, Sometimes, and uh, Juliet Hill. And uh, we're also promoting our college program. We uh, sponsor uh, students to go to any school. Uh, we're working great well with uh, you know, school schedules. We're always hiring uh, young, outgoing people. Ah, yes. and, uh, we enjoy the interaction and uh, just getting our name and our face out there. Excellent. So, so it's, it's a great time. Um, so what are the kind of specials you've got for you? Uh, basically right now for the uh, Sun Times itself, it's $2 a week for a seven-day service. And I bring it straight to your front door by 5 o'clock, right. which is about the same price as picking up one Sunday paper at the store. Yeah. Uh, with our South Town edition, uh, it's $1.50 a week for our six-day publication. Uh, then it's take Saturdays off, so you can emerge on Sundays. Right. As well as uh, with the Joliet Herald, it's also $1.50. Uh, all of our uh, specials go into four or eight week increments. And uh, a lot of people are uh, really want to help out the college program and all of it. So it's a very great building opportunity. Absolutely. So 
Besides, you know, promoting what you're promoting today, um, what are you planning to do at Coffee Con? Drink lots of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan of coffee all day long, and I, you know, I figured this would be a great time to come check out a lot of coffees I didn't know existed. And yeah. I'll check them out. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Exactly. Any uh, coffee types that are here that you've heard about? Or? Um, you know, I, I haven't made my round trip. We got set up, and we're just kind of interacting with uh, the people basically around us. Right. Uh, as everything gets settled in, and, you know, the more people we talk to, we'll find out what the favorites seem to be. And kind of make my rounds here a little bit. Excellent. Well, hey, if you want to come back by, let us know. We'd love to talk to you about Sounds what you found. Good. All right. Thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks a lot. Great day. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Hi, we have to get nice and cozy here. <laughs> oh, so he's just the finder of the people. He's the finder of the people. So, uh, what is your name? Dorothy. Dorothy. Dorothy Deer. Dorothy Deer. Hi, I'm Michelle Rempel. I'm with uh, Media Vine Marketing, and uh, we're here at the Coffee Con to talk about all things coffee. So, so where are you here today? Well, I know the Coffee Con people, so that's one reason. Do you I know Pat and Kevin? I do. I do. Okay. And I also have helped them a little bit with um, with the preparation. I'm also with Mornville and Bloom, and we uh, did the floral arrangements. That They're are beautiful, there. by the way. Beautiful. So, so that's one reason I'm here. But I also love coffee. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I am uh, I am uh, a coffee. I, I'm probably not as passionate as some people. I'm not as knowledgeable, so I came here to learn. Right. Well, nobody's probably as knowledgeable as Kevin said about no. coffee and coffee brewing, right? So. Right. <laughs> So he's a perfect person to headline this uh, this event today. Absolutely. Are there any coffees that you've seen so far that you think you want to try out? Oh, I haven't gotten anywhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he caught me just a little bit after I arrived, so I haven't been anywhere yet. But I'm also very interested in learning about the farmers and how they grow their coffee. And right. there, there is this one um, seminar today. Uh, Jeff. I think it's last week's one, who travels around the world, uh, working with the coffee farmers and giving them sustainable living and, and choosing the right coffee and, and so that's going to be one of the sessions. Oh, I, I agree. There are so many sessions here today that are just going to be great for the coffee aficionado, right? Absolutely. Or the wannabe coffee aficionado. Uh, so. Well, it's been a pleasure having you. I hope you come back by after you've tasted some coffees and let us know what you think. Oh, great. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Right. Thanks. So we've got a lot of great guests here today. Hi. Come on over here and get nice and comfy. <laughs> yeah, we have to be real nice and close here. Oh, good. Hi. Right, so what is your name? Michael. Michael. Yes. Okay. And who are you with? Are you here on your own? Or? I'm with uh, Angel Associates, and we're the distributor for Soudan Software. Soudan. Oh, okay. All right. And uh, tell us a little bit more about that. Soudan uh, is a new invention of brewing a coffee with a stainless steel microfilter, which right. is unique. And it, it creates a very uh, soft, silky taste to the coffee. It rounds wow. the rounds being merged in the fluid the whole time. Wow, so you can do that. You can give coffee a soft and silky flavor just that. by the way that you brew it. You come over and try it, and you uh, <laughs> compare the difference with other brewing yeah. methods. Oh, I think I will have to do that. Um, well, and Kevin Sinna, who is the, the headliner of this event, he's one of the world's uh, foremost coffee brewing experts, so I'm sure he's going to hear his thumbs up, correct? Yeah. Kevin was our. Uh, First critic, and okay. uh, thank God we passed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You have to pass Kevin's uh, Kevin's uh, analysis, or yeah. you know, whatever whatever he, he has to apply to your product. If you pass, then you know that you're in a good good company, right? I, I think the software got off with flying colors, and you know, uh, he has uh, all his uh, testing and uh, crit critique on YouTube, so. Uh, Everyone can see it. Uh, that's right. That's right. It's on uh, his YouTube channel, and I believe uh, is it on his website as well, CoffeeCompany.com. Uh, I believe so. Okay. Great. Yeah. And where are you located, um, as far as what state or country? Or? Our our corporation is. We are an international company. Okay. The company the software is from Italy. Right. We are Swedes selling it in America. I thought I might have recognized so, that. Yeah. <laughs> The U.S. the biggest consumer of coffee worldwide. Italy, where you know they made it commercial, 
and then the Swedes, who consider the most coffee per capita in the whole world, it's going to be a good combination. That is an excellent combination. <laughs> excellent combination. Well, we'd love to have you back uh, later on today. Let us know how things have been going. If you got some good reviews from other coffee critics. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> it's uh, it's only ten minutes into the day. That's event, right. So, That's right. Uh, so, so you got far. plenty of time. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate it. Thank you for having Take me. Take care. Yep. Hi, I think we have another guest here today. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Welcome to Coffee Con. Come in. You gotta get a little more tight in here. Okay, that's good. So, what is your name? My name is Pam Hugh. I'm with Chocolate Inspirations. Chocolate Inspirations. Chocolate and coffee go really well together. We think so. <laughs> yes, we think they're an excellent uh, combination. So tell us a little bit more about Chocolate Inspirations. Um, we're a mother-daughter team. Uh, we're all local, uh, based out of Roselle, oh. Illinois. And um, we do all types of confections. And today we're featuring our local minis, which are um, basically they are flavored chocolate on a stick. You pour your coffee, you put the stick in, it melts out, and you have a whole drink instantly. Wow, oh, that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> and we, oh, we do lots of other confections. Um, we have a coffee coffee that we're we'll here today, again, featuring because it's it's coffee time. Yeah. And then we do, uh, we've won a national award for our English coffee. Uh, uh, let me see, we have brownies today, we have excellent brownies, coffee and brownies, so no, that goes very well also. Um, but um, well, we're a small artisan chocolate company. And, uh, yeah, that's great. And so, are you giving away samples or are you selling no, products? We or? are doing both. Of course, we do, and especially when it's so local, it's a wonderful venue for us. Uh, and again, Come on and you'll have to be you know, real nice and close okay. to be here. Thanks a lot. Can you see Hello. yourself on there? Hi. I can. Excellent. What's your name? My name is Hannah Frank. Hannah Frank. And where are you from? I'm from uh, Chicago, Chicago City. All right. And I'm here today with a group called Chicago and Pacific Underground. And we're actually in charge of supplying music and entertainment for the conference. Oh, great. Um, with the music? Uh, well, we've supplied the stage and we wanted to keep all the music kind of mellow and in the background. Coffee drinking. <laughs> right, it goes, we, you know, a lot of the artists already play in cafes and things like that. So oh, okay. It's a, it's a good match for Excellent. the coffee drinkers. Yeah. Enjoy the music. Are you a coffee drinker? I am a coffee drinker. <laughs> I needed it this morning. But yeah. <laughs> and there's some, there are some great, uh, great, great music here today. And great coffee, great chocolate. Yeah, we're, we're excited about <laughs> seeing what's here, and yeah. the coffee drinkers are, are excited about seeing what coffee they can get yep. and bring home. Are there any um, any coffee brands here today that you're hoping to try out? You know, I haven't seen yet. I know if I drink Starbucks, I'll be up for about four days. So I'm going to try, <laughs> try a great variety. So it's cool probably to see a lot of independent companies yeah. here too. So yeah, I think we're really here just to check it out. So, uh, vegan coffee, I believe. Yeah. And, uh, okay. So we've got cool. quite a few different choices. Uh, so come on by to CoffeeCon. 
And cool. uh, introduce yourself again one more time. Sure. Uh, my name is Hannah Frank, and I'm with Chicago Acoustic Underground. We're online at chicagoacoustic.net and also Cowdog Records. Cowdog Records. Which is C A U D O G Records.com. What kind of records? A cow dog. Cow dog. <laughs> and so you can see our mascot, Buffy, online. Oh, yeah? <laughs> she's, she's the dog. We're going to have all. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Thanks so much. We appreciate you being on live TV today. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. All right. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Hey. All right, another great guest on uh, CopyCon today. Yeah. All right, I'm going to be joined here by uh, Mike Bowler. He's uh, one after a cart. So, Mike, you actually introduced Kevin Sinek today. I did. I did have the privilege and pleasure of introducing Mr. Kevin Sinek, who just happens to be, if I haven't mentioned it already, the foremost coffee brain expert in the world. Let me say that again. Yeah. Mr. Kevin Sinek, the foremost coffee brain expert in the world. That's fantastic. Yeah, and I've had the pleasure of knowing, and I know you have also, and I've also worked with both Kevin and his beautiful wife, Pat. And they are, in addition to being the author of The Art and Craft of Coffee, it's a best selling book, I think, everywhere, I'm not sure, <laughs> uh, are responsible for putting getting Coffee Con 2012 off the ground. It wasn't for them. Everybody wouldn't be here, and there are a lot of people here. There are here. a lot of people here. There are a lot of booths here. There are a lot of coffee vendors. All right, vendors. we have the gentleman right there. He's coming on in. You would, would you like to speak with him? Sure, I'd be to. happy to. All right, please speak. So we have our next guest here. Looks like we have a gentleman from Furnace Hills Coffee, but I'll let you introduce Hi. yourself. Hi, Hello. come on, get real personal, close okay. and personal here. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> speak up, please. Uh, your Hi. name? Uh, my name is Dave Baldwin. And I'm the president of uh, Curtis Hills Coffee Company. We're a family-owned and run coffee company in the Baltimore, Maryland area. And so uh, we are, um, we have a kind of a unique story in that uh, we have a daughter who has Down syndrome. She's 37 and uh, she was living in Wisconsin. And then uh, uh, we decided that she needed to come back and live with us. So the waiting list for services in Maryland was really long. And so what we decided to do was start this coffee roasting business and so we started using small home roasters in our kitchen and then you know 10 pounds a week was a great week you know so people said hey we need to start selling this stuff and so we did that and moved moved out of our home about a year ago to a roastery and just been having a great time oh wow and where are you located we're located in a, a small town called westminster maryland it's in the northwest suburb of baltimore okay so we don't we're there we say there are five wins with furnace coffee company first of all we employ the development of the safety all right i'm wondering about that we want to do want to do more of that as we as we uh, um we give a dollar a pound of everything we sell away to uh, organizations around the world oh fantastic so we're excited about that um, we use organic and, and sometimes shaped uh, coffee, so it's good for the environment. That's the third win. Fourth win is we work directly with farmers uh, as much as we can. We can't do that in every case. We're still trying to find some options for farmers. Um, and so oh, okay. farmers get the best price for the coffee they can. And then number five, people say it tastes really great. So <laughs> hey! that's, that's, our fifth that's the best win. part, right? So, yeah, yeah. so how can people find Curtis Hills Coffee? Uh, you can go online, we're at www.furnacehillscoffee.com. Um, our Twitter is at furnace underscore hills. Um, and we have a Facebook page, and you can uh, just search for Furnace Hills uh, Coffee and you'll find our Facebook page. Excellent, excellent. Well, you know, you'll have to come back by later on today and let us know how things are going, if you have a chance anyway. Okay. And uh, are there any other coffee, uh, I, I realize you have a coffee roasting company yourself, but any other coffees that you want to, get to sample here today? You know, it's, it's um, uh, I've seen a couple of uh, roasters that um, I've only read about, and so I, I want to try, try them out. And I've already uh, had a great, it's like, you know, we're the little kids on the block, and we right. come here and see all these people we've only read about, and, yes. you know, and so it's, it, we're kind of with our eyes wide open, just kind of having fun. So. Yeah, exactly. That's great. Well, thanks so much for uh, letting us know about Furnace Hills Coffee at Coffee Time. Here in Warrenville, Illinois. So, uh, hope you come back by and let us know. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Take care. Yeah. So, another great guest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to go. Did you get any free samples from any of these people? No, I haven't yet. Oh, but hopefully, I will. All right. <laughs> uh, we have another guest. Would you okay. Like, sure. You want to do this is my first uh, okay. Yeah, come on by. Uh, a nice, close, and personal so here. I'll have to sit a little closer. A little closer? Okay. Yeah. Pull the chair up. All right. Just try. Try. 
not sure I'm very good at it. Oh, <laughs> I don't do very good at yeah, uh, you'll be fine. any kind of video, so <laughs> no I know problem. that. So we're here again at the Coffee Crunch in Mooresville, yes, Illinois. And uh, what is your name? I'm Jerry Tolman. Jerry, and where are you from? I'm an accounting faculty member at North Central College. Okay. And I'm an advisor for a student group called Students and Free Enterprise. And oh. we've started our own business selling okay. coffee. Excellent. And yeah, tell us, I, I'm a little bit familiar with that. So tell us a little bit okay. more about um, the whole project. Okay. About uh, in 2004, we. Uh, uh, found out about this coffee in Guatemala where the farmers uh, were not getting, um, they were struggling getting by. And so what we did is we started buying their coffee and selling it here in the States and here in our mostly churches and at school. And then in 2006, we changed to where we now buy the green beans from Guatemala. We get them um, roasted here at, at Arbor Vitae and in um, Naperville, and then we sell the coffee. It's, we have our own brand name. It's called Conscious Bean. Yeah, Conscious Bean Coffee. Conscious Bean Coffee. And um, over the years, we've sold about uh, 8,000 pounds of coffee, and we've uh, expanded now where we do uh, other um, products. We sell textiles. We sell other products from Guatemala, and our purpose is to help the entrepreneurs there. Um, become more self-sustainable. And so we work as consultants and then also buy and sell the product. Now, I think I remember hearing that some of your students were involved in a reality show, a, a, an yeah. online reality show. Yes, we had uh, missioncoffeecan.com yeah. okay. and they uh, uh, were, were part of the show where they, they went to Guatemala, spent the time there, and then we also compete with other schools in a competition and, and that was included in the Mission Coffee Can series as well. And so, compete on a national basis. Yeah, and uh, are you uh, continuing that every year? You compete yes. every year? Right. In fact, that, right now we're starting to get oh, ready for the regionals, yes. Excellent. Um, regionals are in April, oh, okay. so we're starting to get our speech together. And what, in the competition, we talk about the different projects. And we, talk about our, we talk about our coffee and, we, um, uh, and the work that we do with the entrepreneurs and farmers. So if people want to find out a little bit more about uh, North Central College and the Student Free Enterprise Program, how can they do that? They can, uh, they can go to see the, the video on the Russian Coffee Can um, series, or they can contact me at my email. We're right now in the middle of, I think we have a new Facebook site up, but I'm not positive it's there yet today. Um, but they can contact me also at G-A, uh, Tallman, G-H-A-L-M-A-N-N, -N, at N-O-C-T-R-L. Um, it's, it, a, yeah, it's okay. Is there a um, is there a link anywhere on the uh, North Central College website? Just, yeah, they can just go to the North Central College site as well. They can't buy online because, of, uh, but they can contact me and, and they can make purchases, or they can find out more information. Sure. And are there other places that the coffee is being sold? We are currently uh, selling it on our campus in, okay. a, in our um, coffee shop there. And uh, within the near future, here we'll be able to you'll be able to buy the jewel stores. We'll be in three of the local jewel oh, stores, very nice. and you can buy it at Casey's, and you can buy it at um, Arbor Vita. Oh, oh, that's excellent. excellent. So, thank you so much for coming around and letting us know a little bit more about uh, the program, the yeah. Coffee Can, and North Central College. I hope that you'll come back by later on today and let us know how it's going. Sounds real good. It's been a real good event already. Oh, absolutely. It's very busy, so it's great. Thank you Thanks. so much. Thanks. Take care. You too. So another great guest today at CoffeeCon. Uh, we're really excited about talking to all the different people that are involved in CoffeeCon. And, uh, you know, we've talked to so many people so far that are uh, just, you know, passionate about coffee. Uh, about all things coffee, coffee brewing, the different ways of coffee brewing. And I was really excited to talk to the person from uh, no, no, no. Soft Brew and Snow. So I think we have another guest here. So come on over here and get nice and close and personal here. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. And uh, what's your name? Tony from Terra. Tony, and where are you from? I'm from Starbucks. Oh, you're from Starbucks. Yay, hey, the big gorilla. Yeah, the big guy. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. We won't hold it against you. All right, I love I love Starbucks myself anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So tell us more about why you're here at Coffee Con today. Obviously, besides the obvious that you know, good coffee. Yeah, you know, I was just um, we're part of this community, and I have a great passion for coffee, and I love seeing other brewing methods, other roasters, and what right. have you. But uh, we love being part of our community, and we were asked to uh, come and have some samples from people and what have you. But, uh, 
That's really just a celebration of coffee, right? Oh, exactly. It's and, a celebration of coffee. Yeah, I didn't want to be part, you know, miss that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So what can you tell us about uh, what you've seen so far at Coffee Con today? Well, you know, I just got here a little bit ago, but some awesome brewing methods, some different roasters, uh, just everything you can really imagine. It's, yeah. it's quite awesome. Yeah, it is. I'm, I can't wait to really... Uh, you guys have job posting on your site? Um, no, we don't uh, okay. have job postings, but if you want to take a card, I'd be happy to uh, okay. talk to you more about that. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. Sure. Yeah, um, you know, I'd love to uh, check it out some more so I can get a feel. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah. Well, in, you know, uh, Kevin Sinnott, do you know Kevin Sinnott? Yeah. Yeah, he's the, the world's uh, foremost coffee brewing expert. I believe. Is. And uh, so a lot of us have uh, learned a lot from Kevin yeah. over the years about you know, the different types of brewing methods, the different types of, you know, roasts and how they affect coffee, um, just, you know, and the farmers and how they're compensated and how they grow it and everything. So it's really a fascinating event to be able to come and, and uh, talk to all these different coffee experts, coffee brewers, coffee roasters, and, uh, you know, just get involved in all things coffee and, you know, chocolate too. Can't yeah, that. I mean, everything that goes with coffee. Right? Everything that goes with coffee, that's From, right. From uh, chocolates and newspapers. <laughs> Chocolate and newspapers, yeah. absolutely. So it's just been, it's a fabulous event. I hope that uh, you'll all be able to come down here today and find out more about Starbucks. Absolutely. And all the other different uh, coffee roasters that are here. Um, how did you, uh, how did you meet Kevin Sinnott? You know, his uh, his son actually works ah, for one more store. Okay. Yeah. And, and Which one? Which son? Uh, Ed. Ed. Yeah. And he's a musician as well, is that right? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's like a prerequisite to work at Starbucks and be a musician. Exactly. So, uh, but uh, yeah, you know, he works for us. And, and uh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, Kevin uh, invited us. He was like, you know, why, why don't we have to come and try out the new Bond? And everybody wants it. So. Oh, that's right. That's right. Starbucks, I, you know, very good marketing. The Starbucks Blonde. Love it. It's a very good uh, new product that you guys have. Which store are you affiliated with? Or do you have a series of stores? Yeah, no, I, uh, I manage the Lyle store. The Lyle store. But we'll have, we'll have people from all sorts of different stores. Sure. Right? Great. Well, everybody check out uh, the Starbucks at Lyle. And also check out Coffee Con. And your name again? Tony Tinsuri. Tony. Got to go see Tony over at the Starbucks at Lyle. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks so much. Bye. So, uh, another great guest uh, on the Hi. Oh, are you going to be there? And, uh, we got another guest here. Hello there. Come on, you got to be nice and close and personal here with me. Okay. <laughs> so we can both be in the camera. Um, and what is your name? Uh, Bill Pryor. Bill, and where are you from? I'm with uh, Arbor Whitey Java and Juice. Okay. Uh, we have our uh, location in Northern Illinois University on Deal Road. Oh, okay. The extension. And we just got the contract for LA Fitness. So it will be okay. the coffee juice bar in the LA Fitness. Oh, excellent. Centers in April. Yeah. So tell us more about Arbor Vitae. Uh, How do you say it, actually, first Ar of all? Arbor Vitae. Ar Arbor Vitae. It means Tree of Life. Okay. okay. We were founded in 1994. Uh, our original location was downtown Naperville, and um, it's a family-owned operation. Our claim to fame is that we roast our own coffee at the location, so it's all fresh roasted coffee. All right, wow. Coffee peaks in flavor two days after it's roasted. So if you want fresh coffee, you gotta do it. You quickly. gotta come to our <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta get it while it's fresh, right? Right. The best time. And our uh, signature coffee blend is called Wild Ass. Wild Ass? Yeah. <laughs> okay. There was a uh, poet, his name was Balzac. And he used to travel throughout Paris to find three different beans to make his favorite blend of really? coffee. But he's known for his uh, uh, book, Wild Ass Skins. Okay. And we've gone to three continents to mimic Balzac's blend of coffee. And so we named it after his book, The Wild Ass That's a great story. So, uh, how much is that your most popular seller? Or yes, it, it is. is. It is. Yeah. Oh, that's great. But we sell all, all the coffees you can possibly Sure. So, how did you get involved with Coffee Cons today? 
Uh, we go at the New England University. Yeah, and we're, we're members of the Specialty Coffee Association. So <clears throat> that was where the contact came from. Because he happened about 35 centimeters. Do you know Kevin Sinatra? Uh, very well. Very well. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I know. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, 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 Experts. Yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. And he's tried our log yeah, so he'll come to the shop and he'll buy some bags of log. Yeah, excellent. Oh, we got to get closer to me apparently here. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's right. We're going to get more like close and personal. Yeah. see. Or you can <laughs> So, uh, how can people find our recording? Uh, right now, our, lo our location's at the uh, Northern Illinois University on the Deal Road extension. So, it's right down on Deal Road. And we're in the NIU building, so we have our location there. Currently, in, in next month, we'll be in the LA Fitness uh, Center. Do you have a website? Uh, yes, it's www.java-juice.com. Java-juice.com. Right. Okay. And can people buy online or not yet? Or? No, they can't. They can't? Yes. Oh, fantastic. In fact, uh, we also sell the uh, Guggenheim collection, Frank Lloyd Wright. Cups. Okay. And um, there's only a few businesses in the world that sell them in the world. Of them, so we, we tend to get a lot of money for Christmas time. Oh, I bet. So beautiful cups to pair with beautiful coffee. Right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your next tagline, right? <laughs> right. Excellent. Excellent. So, well, thank you so much for telling us more about what the uh, is doing these days and about coffee time. Um, I'd love to have you come back by later on today. That was fun. Okay. Thank you. Bill Pryor. Bill Pryor. Nice right. to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. So we have a, another great uh, guest today from Arbor Vide Coffee. You can find them at java-juice.com. Uh, they sell their coffees online and they also sell some beautiful cups to go with the coffee. So, oh, it looks like we have another guest here today. Hi. Hello. Come and get a little bit more oh, close okay. and personal. Yes, it's a very beautiful, uh, <laughs> intimate setting. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So what is your name? My name is Rachel Vandenbroek, and I work for Northern Illinois University. All right. And uh, tell us more about why you're here at CoffeeCon today. Well, we think it's a great event because it supports education regarding coffee, but also the MBA program, Masters of Business Administration program, is here in Naperville, and we're right down the road. Yeah. So we thought it was a great partnership to not only basically to support education um, at all levels. Right. So that's why we're sponsoring the event today. So are you a, a coffee aficionado? I'm a chai aficionado. <laughs> I wouldn't say coffee. Um, I love chai. And um, I'm, my, my colleagues that will be here later certainly enjoy their coffee and their espresso. Um, but uh, I enjoy other things, to be honest with you. I don't know if that's a good thing to say at Coffee Con, but I think it's great. I'm learning. <laughs> it's okay. You know, I have to tell you a secret because I'm not really... I would not call myself a coffee of this United by any means. In okay. fact, yeah, usually my drink of choice is tea. Oh, so I, yeah. I, so I understand. <laughs> yes, but I will say that I love the aroma of coffee. I'm with right. you. Yeah. It's just, it's so There's wonderful. Whole, and now to just be in this uh, space here, we're going to have wonderful aromas. I know that. Yeah. So, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, so tell us a little bit more. You talked a little bit about what you're doing, but just give us a few more details about. Um, you know, the education programs that you're promoting. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. Well, we have one MBA degree, a Master's of Business Administration, but we have four formats, so you can reach your goal in four different ways. And obviously, we have our campus here in Naperville, and then we also have a campus at Hoffman Estates, and then we have a full-time daytime MBA program at our um, at in DeKalb, at Northern in DeKalb. So it's a great opportunity for folks that are thinking about taking that next step in terms of education, and specifically an MBA degree, which I think really spans all areas of um, 
a business, if you will, and not only business, I mean nonprofits. Uh, we have students that are PA or medical doctors in our program, so it's really quite a broad range of students that we see. And it's just a great way, I think, to uh, begin that process of thinking about career change, career development. And so the MBA program can usually be used as a tool to reach that next level. So in NIU is um, obviously we're State University, and so it's affordable. And another thing that I always like to know for people is that we're AACSB accredited, which is an accrediting body for business schools. Oh, nice. And so we're one of seven schools in the Chicagoland area that is accredited by AACSB. So that really, you get the most value for your dollar. And in this economy, you want the best value for your dollar. So that's my spiel. And a UMBA, I love it. It's great. And so, um, but yeah, it's been a really great, I actually moved here from West Des Moines, Iowa, uh, to work at Northern. So it's been a great partnership um, as well for me personally. I'm the academic advisor, so I help students um, decide if NIU is the right fit for them, and then I walk them through the process of enrolling in classes, doing degree ops and the like. So, yeah. That's fantastic. Um, do you know Kevin Sinnott by any chance? Or? I met him today, okay. and what a delight. And what I love about him is his entrepreneurial spirit and the idea that he had this idea um, for many years, it sounds like, and this is great that it's finally come to fruition. And I love that. And, and actually, to tie back into Northern, we just launched an entrepreneurship certificate, one of the classes on creativity and innovation. And I think today, we really have a prime example of creativity and innovation. Absolutely. I mean, this is actually, they did a bunch of research and they found that this was the first coffee or a uh, first event for the consumer for coffee so you know there's been of course a million coffee shows for sure. coffee to coffee or, you know experts or roasters or brewers or whatever but this is the first one for the consumer so sure. talk about innovation right exactly <laughs> exactly and that's fabulous yeah it is it is well thank you so much for talking to us oh you're What's welcome your name again? my name is rachel okay rachel and uh how do you how do people find uh, niu People find an IVU in a variety of ways. One, we're on social media, which I drop my card in there. So you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Um, our Facebook group is Northern Illinois University MBA. Our Twitter handle is NIU underscore MBA. So that's one way to reach out to us. And also our website hosts more information than you know yeah, what right. you do with. And come on out to CoffeeCon today and we're at an information table all day. Excellent. That's, that's, great. that's wonderful. Great. Thank you, Thank you so Have much. A great day. Have a great day. I love it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Well, another great guest from NIU. So. Uh, here, we're here at CoffeeCon today, and we're talking to people that have booths or also attendees at CoffeeCon. So it looks like we have another guest to come and sit and get nice and close and personal with you today. Get a little bit closer. you got to get into the screen here. So um, what's your name? My name is Steve Ames. Steve, and where are you from? We are with uh, Passion House Coffee Roasters. All right, Passion House Coffee Roasters. And where are you located? Uh, right in Chicago, about two miles west of the loop, west loop, so Colton and Damon, it's a warehouse district. Wait, oh, warehouse district, great. So how long have you been in business? About 10 months. Oh, wow, that's so, great. We're doing a lot of good things, so this is a great event, too. We got yeah. to get our name out, so. Oh, that's great. So uh, now you roast coffee, or? I don't, I don't roast. I'm more of actually the sales guy. Okay. Uh, Josh uh, over there, the guy in the middle, he is the roaster. Okay, all right. And then Shannon next to him, she's more, uh, like, kind of like a coffee juices. I kind of prepared like a, a wine now, so, so she knows all the ins and outs of yes. taste and characters and so does he as well, but Josh is the main roaster. Okay, really. And, uh, you know, obviously there are just a ton of coffee roasters out there, so tell us what makes Passion House different from some of the others? Uh, well, we, we acquire in-season coffees, and in-season coffees tend to be fresher. Um, and also, we, we strictly just pretty much roast. Hey, lady, what are you doing here? <laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. I'm doing an interview right now with Passion House. Oh, sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. we got more enthusiastic people. Awesome. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> so anyway, sorry. Tell us about So uh, we, we pretty much mainly roast medium style. Okay. No dark roast is probably just medium yeah. roast. Keeps the flavor oh, yeah. So I guess that's really unique really compared to the So uh, are you, uh, you have some main uh, places where people can find your coffee right now? Are you selling online or we're actually, uh, we're actually having some restaurants downtown. We're actually in Standard Market, which okay. is in uh, Westmont, not too far from here. And uh, we're relatively young, so we just want to get our name out here. Yeah. And uh, But yeah, we're in some restaurants. We're also in some cafes, suburban, around like Forest Park, 
Uh, mainly restaurants downtown, but we're in uh, Standard Market. That's, that's a big grocery store. Yeah. And uh, are you selling any of your coffee online as well? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. How can people do that? Uh, just go to www.cashinhousecoffee.com. Excellent. And we also sell retail, wholesale, and people can actually come in and actually to a warehouse, you know the storefront, but they have to come in and buy our coffee. So I'll be a Christian and come by and pick up their week or month's coffee, right? <laughs> yeah, and actually, we actually do uh, a cupping or a professional coffee tasting every Wednesday at 10 oh, really? a.m. down at the shops. Oh, excellent. All right. So uh, one more time, how can people find out about Passion House Coffee? www.passionhousecoffee.com. Excellent. Thanks so much for coming by. Thank I you. It. You Take care. Come back by and let us know how things are going. You will. Thank okay, you. Okay, awesome. Thanks. Sure. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Nice to meet you. You too. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. So another great guest at uh, Coffee Con. We're here in Warrenville, Illinois at the IBEW building. I just got my picture taken by somebody. I don't know who it is, but I think I'm going to be talking to him. So... <laughs> Hello there. Have Hi. a seat. Get nice and close and personal here, so we can both be in the in the frame here. Oh my! Yeah, yeah. It is really video. nice and close. Yeah, it is video. It's, it's so, video as well. That's right. So tell us, who are you? My name is Chuck. Chuck. Me? And where are you from? I'm also from Orlando, locally okay. here. All right. Um, I, I actually uh, showed up with my pictures for Coffee Con. Uh, okay. Help that I enjoy photography. Yeah. And I also very much enjoy coffee. Oh, well, so, hey. I mean, you know, what? How can I lose? <laughs> that's you know? right. What a great combination, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So how did you get involved with Coffee Con? Well, actually, uh, one of the organizers was on Facebook, and she posted me saying, hey, we're looking for a photographer, too. And a couple of my friends said, hey, you need to talk to Chuck. Yeah, you like coffee, you, you can shoot pictures, so why not? <laughs> exactly. exactly. It's, it's what I do as a hobby, and I and, and I take it very seriously as a hobby. Yeah. So, um, and I showed up and I've had, had a wonderful time already. Already. With some wonderful people. Oh, yeah. Making, making some fun pictures. Oh, yeah. And uh, I can see that there's even a lot more fun pictures. I just have to work at it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, you know, it, it, getting a great picture is not easy. Getting a great interview, it's not easy. You have to practice. You have to get, oh, you have to get someone perhaps like me that works with you the right way. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So you say you do this as a hobby. Uh -huh. um, what else do you do uh, when you're not shooting pictures? I actually program computers for a living. Oh, so okay. to a certain extent, what I find is, is that in programming a computer, I'm sitting there and most of the time I'm interacting with machines. Right. The majority of the time. Yes, I interact with people, but not as much as these things. Yeah. So what this means is that, so that's my vocation, so to speak. And as a hobby, when I get this camera, when I walk up to you and I have this camera, it's, there's almost an instantaneous feel. I point it at you, and there's an immediate relationship. Yeah. Now, it might not be a good relationship to me, and you might say, <laughs> you, you, right. might, you might do the paparazzi thing and do this, yes. or you might, um, you know, or, or this, but, you know, it, it's interesting how, how it works. And so it, it gets me interacting with people, which I find very helpful, because that's why I don't do all that. Yeah, right. When you're programming computers, you're not interacting with a lot of people. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able to do your work. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, so I enjoy it a lot, and I come up and meet people. And there's some great coffee here. I mean, if, yeah. you, if people if people are contemplating coming, do it. Yes. Do it now. Yeah, do it right now before you know anything runs out because there are just fabulous coffees here today. And there's chocolate. And there's everything you can imagine. And and some of the coffees are, you know, you don't necessarily have to like all the coffee, but you have to admit that there are some unique and very different coffees that, you know, perhaps even change your, your, your thoughts about what is a good coffee. Yeah. So it, there's, it's an experience that you should come out and try. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, and even different methods of roasting, different methods oh. of brewing the coffee. And they have they have, they have have so many different kinds of, of uh, brewers here. That, you know, I mean, they have some that look very retro. Right, with literally yeah. an alcohol burner underneath yeah, them. Yeah, right. Then they have, um, they're, they're actually doing a tasting with a class you have to sign up for uh, with the trifecta, which is one of these really uh, high end uh, automated machines where you can actually dial in certain. Oh, yeah, for uh, the real, for the uh, serious coffee. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, I, the, the more I look at that, the more I like it. Yeah, of uh, it's not know. available for sale to the public yet, but I mean, the thing is, they'd offer to control of, the, of, of how you brew the coffee, how much you brew. You know, it just it, it just looks like, yeah, they got it, they got it, they got it on, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and at the same time, but there's a lot of other, other uh, methods as well. 
I mean, because you have you, know, you have cook making, you have vacuum coffee making process, uh, you have drip coffee making, you have just a whole. It's all represented here, and there's some experts here who can really talk about it far, far better than I can. Yeah. But I'm just really enjoying learning about coffee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, you know, if you have any interest whatsoever in coffee, come by to Coffee Con. You can see Chuck. You can get your picture shot by him. And you can find out about brewing. Yeah. Mm -hmm find out about roasting and just meet a bunch of fabulous uh, uh, coffee vendors, chocolate vendors, uh, you name it, come on by. Yes, so, exactly. So how can people uh, get a hold of you if uh, they need you to take some pictures? Well, my name is Chuck Isdale, so I'm Chuck at Isdale.com. Okay. I, I've been on the internet a long time, and yes, I got my last name in the domain. Excellent. We love that. You've got to have yeah. a domain. Well, <laughs> you know, I'll... Uh, I, I remember people saying I was a little bit crazy when I registered back in 1992. Oh, you were you were ahead of the times. Yeah, <laughs> um, it was. Yeah, and it was expensive back then. Mm -hmm. um, but hey, hey. It, it, I got in early and I got my name. That's beautiful. Exactly. <laughs> thank you so okay. much. Hey, thank Appreciate you. It. I enjoyed yes. it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, another fascinating guest over here at Coffee Con in Warrenville, Illinois. We're at the IBEW building, and uh, we're talking to just a variety of people that are even either attending the Coffee Con or uh, they're coffee vendors, coffee roasters, coffee brewers, Kevin Sinat. Uh, all these different people are here. So, hi. Oh, I just see somebody that I know, Janelle. <laughs> yeah, hello, hello. How are you? Janelle has come by to uh, see Coffee Con. And, uh, and drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> so we're fascinated. Come on down. It's an easy drive. Yeah, in the country. That's right. <laughs> we'll talk to you later, Janelle. <laughs> hi. It looks like we have another guest here today. So he's getting arranged. And he'll be coming and sitting down and build nice and close and personal with me so we can get in the frame here. <laughs> so tell us, who are you? Uh, my name's Jeff. What? Come on a little bit closer. I think we got to get your head in there. Okay. Jeff, and where are you from? Uh, originally from Chicago. I live in Los Angeles now. Okay. Uh, but I work with a company called Intelligentsia. Ah, oh, yes. We heard a lot about you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I sell specialty coffee here yeah. in Chicago. And okay. And so why are you here at Coffee Con today? Well, Kevin, uh, yeah, Kevin asked me to come down and, and yeah. to talk about coffee quality and okay. so some of the things that we to quality. All right. So you're one of the speakers today. Yeah. Oh, okay. Excellent. And um, how did you uh, how did you get to know Kevin? And he's the you know the coffee brewing expert, right? Yeah. So, well, you know, we've been working here in Chicago since '95. We started. And he is somebody that's always had a big passion for coffee. Uh, he used to come into our shops a lot, and he ended up getting in touch with us and coming down to the lab to taste coffees with us. And I helped him out a little bit with the uh, photos for his work. So okay. we've known each other a lot. Oh, that's, oh, so you uh, helped him out with his book, which one, The Art and Craft of Coffee? Or? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, I just provided photographs. Yeah. I, I travel a lot, so I my work. Okay is sourcing coffee and working with farmers to try to develop better qualities and to work on sustainability issues and farms. And through that work, I you know, accumulated a lot of great, great photos. Yeah, I bet. I get to travel to 20 countries every year. Yes. Yeah. Well, the, the book, uh, The Art and Craft of Coffee, has some fabulous photos. So, you know, it's one of those books that it's, very, it's both instructional and also beautiful. Right. So if you love coffee, pick up that book and tell us a little bit more about Intelligentsia. Well, we're a, a small business, relatively small by coffee standards. Uh, we started in 95 with a small shop downtown in Broadway. And the goal really was just to try to bring uh, better coffee to, to people who were looking for it. And since we started, it's, uh, things have changed quite a lot as we've learned more. Yeah. I think if you look back 15 years and the state of coffee was in a very different place than it is today. That's true. And, you know, we've, we've been part of that. To bring yeah. a different sort of understanding about what coffee can be and right. what's possible with yeah. coffee. Yeah. Uh, bring some attention okay. to you. issues in coffee. Um, and really, you know, it's one of my biggest goals Hi, to try to eradicate right. the idea of the, the dollar bottomless cup. Right. <laughs> not only does it taste horrible, it's just not, uh, it's not sustainable. Right, right, right. So, so you started out with the, the shop in Chicago, and you're in L.A. So I'm tell in us LA more now. about, you so, expanded that? Or? Yeah, we, um, 
after the first couple of years, we opened a roasting facility. We've been roasting just in our shop. And due to demand, there were a lot of chefs in the area that used to come in and, and drink our coffee. And I started asking them, saying, you know, we'd love to get this in our restaurants. So we, we began to look a little bigger. This is um, we opened another facility here. Over time, we started selling a lot to high-end restaurants and old booths and places like that. And as we grew, uh, we saw that you know, there other markets as well that, that we're looking for an upgrade. Um, we moved out to LA about four years ago. Okay. So our home base is still here in Chicago. Yeah. But now we're roasting in LA. We have three shops out there. Oh, cool. Uh, I, I moved did not out know there that. To, to help, you know, to help uh, spread the message. Yeah. So difference between I used to live in California, so uh, okay. <laughs> there's a big difference between LA and Chicago. Uh, Indeed, I just so flew in from LA yesterday. Yeah. So I, I can <laughs> feel the difference. <laughs> So, what do you, which do you prefer, LA or Chicago? Well, they're very different. Yes, uh, they are. <laughs> you know, I think uh, I've been in LA only for a year, and it's new enough that I'm uh, yeah. soaking up every minute of it. Right. Uh, Chicago's always going to be different. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, you can't argue with the weather. No, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> no, so how can people find out more about Intelligentsia? You can go, we have a website. It's. Uh, IntelligentsiaCoffee.com. Okay, IntelligentsiaCoffee.com. Yeah, that's right. That's, uh, I'd say that's the best way to find us. Okay. Uh, Google uh, Intelligentsia Coffee or Coffee Chicago or Jeff Watts, and you'll find uh, you'll find your way into it. Do you sell coffee online? We do. All right. Yeah, we do. As well as through the different stores and right, right. restaurants that serve it. And exactly. Okay. We're trying to make it accessible to anybody. I think it's still the case in the United States and most of the world that uh, it's not easy to find a great cup of coffee. You know, it's easy, a lot easier now than it was even five years ago. Yeah. Uh, but still, the majority of options that are presented to people are not. It's just not, not that great. great. <laughs> so you so know, we're hoping, hoping to fill that gap. <laughs> we're hoping to change that. I mean, if ten years from now. You know, every third sort of place you walk into has a, a decent coffee. So we uh, feel pretty good about having made an impact. That's excellent. That's excellent. Well, thank you so much for coming and telling us more about Intelligentsia. Very and well. your name again? Jeff. Jeff, yes. yes. Jeff Watts from Intelligentsia Coffee at Coffee Con in Warrenville, Illinois. The first uh, consumer, uh, well, the first coffee con or convention for the consumer. So really excited to be here today, and thank you so much for talking to us. Hope you'll come back by later on and let us know how things go. Yeah, I will. All right, thanks so much. Take care. All right, so we have another great guest from Intelligentsia here at Coffee Con. So if you're thinking at all about looking for a really, really fine cup of coffee, you need to come by Coffee Con and talk to Intelligentsia because they're they're on a mission to make sure that everybody has a great cup of coffee. Uh, so it looks like we might have some more guests coming up here, and I may ask uh, Mike Bowler to switch out with me here. So, yeah. Hey, Mike. Mike, would you mind the sitting in the the interviewer spot for a little bit? Sure. Oh, okay. That'd be great. Hey, Jeff. How are you? Nice to see you. Okay, I'm gonna move up and. I'll just gonna come over there and get some, uh, get some coffee. Oh, go in there. Make sure you tell Amanda at the Michelle? desk that you're Jeff with Intelligentsia. Okay. All right. <laughs> awesome. okay, come on. Thank you very much. There you are. All right. And I'm Mike Buller with Mediavine Marketing, nice. taking over Michelle. Our throat's getting a little dry, and I know I'm gonna be going to our next guest. Well, boot, class, and everything else, because I want some coffee. Yes. And they got some of the best. So, you're from Bun. Yes. What's your name? Automatic. My name is Amy Markels Tracy. Amy Markels Tracy. And you are a vice president. I am. I work in the home products division, which is Coffee Con is all about great coffee experiences at home. Oh, there's the camera. Thank you very much. And um, we're here today launching the Trifecta. In addition to talking about and demonstrating our whole product line for home use. What's the trifecta? Oh, so the trifecta is a brand new machine for home. It totally uses this new technology called air infusion. And what air infusion does is introduces um, turbulence and we can measure the infusion time and 
get a great result in the cup. What the trifecta does is it brews full cup coffee, and full cup is nuanced, more nuanced coffee. We can pull out those uh, special nuances that the roaster or a farmer anticipates um, when they are preparing the coffee for sale. Yeah. And uh, it's based on our commercial model, which has been out in the market um, in commercially in specialty cafes. Uh, it's also a great brewer for tea. Of course, we're here at CoffeeCon for celebrating coffee, so our, our sessions are all about coffee brewing. Um, are, are you going to be giving some of the sessions? I, yeah, I'm supposed to be giving some sessions right now. It's such a hot kind <laughs> of activity here. And uh, we're having consumers who've signed up in advance to come in and learn more about the brewer. All right. Are you from Chicago? I Land am area? from Chicago. Yes. All right. So Glenn's located. Springfield, Illinois. Spring, I grew up by Springfield. Yeah, wonderful. So I didn't know that. Yeah, thank you. Okay. They've actually fifth generation Bunn family in business there since the 1840s. Wow, I wasn't aware of that. So, yeah. how they get a hold of you, Amy? How they get a hold of Bunn more importantly for the trifecta? Oh, for trifecta. We, Bunn.com is the, is the first gateway you can go to. You can also try Bunn at home.com. I think you can search anywhere at Google on Bunn Trifecta and find us. That's Trifecta, T-R-I-F-E-C-T-A, like Trifecta, track. exactly. Uh, a very special occurrence is, is Trifecta. Um, I probably haven't fully explained well the machine, so it would be good to go to the website and to uh, see it there. But I'd recommend Bun.com. All right, Bun.com it yeah. is. Will you come back and talk to us in the radio show? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Also, Doug Bishop from Bun will stop by, and he's one of our pros in the coffee lab. Please, any motor. Okay. Maybe get all the information you can about coffee. Okay, yeah, fun, right? exactly. Yeah, thanks for being here today. Thanks, Amy. Thanks, we'll see you a little bit later. Okay. There you have it. A lot of different uh, splitters. How are you doing, sir? How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? Good. Pull up a chair. I'm Mike Buller. Um, yeah, here's the camera. You're going to be scooting a little bit farther oh, towards right. me, although I know you don't want to get too close. <laughs> All right, we're here at uh, Coffee Con 2012 in Warrenville. And we have another guest. What's your name? Uh, John Bird. John Bird. John, make sure to, to speak up. I got a big mouth. And I sound <laughs> loud enough. All right. But I uh, want to make sure you can be heard. Uh, John, what are you doing here? Are you a guest? Are you doing no, speaking? We, uh, you got a booth? We What's have a booth, on? and uh, we are purveyors of gourmet coffee from Hawaii. From and Hawaii? From Hawaii. And we, uh, we buy coffee from the Big Island of uh, Hawaii, uh, also from Maui and uh, Kauai. Really? And uh, I was not aware that uh, coffee production in Hawaii is a very large industry. And uh, is that Kona? Is that about? Kona is from the Big Island, and uh, Maui has uh, their own plantations uh, on Maui. They roast uh, coffee also, they blend coffee, and uh, Hawaii uh, Bishop's Coffee Farm has, has been around uh, for over a hundred years. Okay. Go ahead. And uh, uh, it's, a, it's a very smooth coffee. You don't have any bitterness with it. And um, we find that uh, it, the people that we have, uh, uh, who are our clients enjoy it and continue to come back to us. Wow. So strictly Hawaiian. Strictly Hawaiian. Wow. And did you tell us the name of your company? Our name is Holly Jolly Java. Holly Jolly Java. Right. <laughs> All right. And where are you? We are in Warrenville. We're located right here. Right here in Warrenville. And we're also on the uh, World Wide Web at hollyjollyjava.net. Hollyjollyjava.net. Okay. Now, is that the only way for them to get a hold of you from the World Wide Web? No, no, they can also uh, email us at uh, lowercase hollyjollyjava at live.com. And between the uh, Holly and Jolly, who put a dash or you won't get through. Oh, okay. What else can you tell? You guys ship, or do, uh, can they people come directly? Do you have a location? No, or we, we only ship, or how's it work? Yeah, we only we only ship the coffee, so we, we don't have a uh, store yet. We're not that big, but uh, eventually, uh, hoping to uh, to expand. But uh, it's going to take a little while. 
Well, we wish you good luck today. It looks like they've had a pretty good crowd so far. So far, yeah. They're going to be going on. It's going on until 5, right? Until 5 o'clock. Wow. So we hope everyone will come down and uh, visit us. I like the shirts, man. Where would you oh, get those you. at? They're See, giving any of those away, are they? No, they're not giving them away. Uh, they We bought them in Hawaii when we were uh, uh, talking with our friends at uh, um, the Maui Coffee Company. You got to go back there a couple go times here? Well, I'd like, it off his business. I'd like to write it off his business, or maybe uh, one of the companies will uh, uh, give us a trip. That'd but, be uh, awesome. That'd be yeah. awesome, but uh, that's wishful thinking. All yeah. right. So, just the name again, name of the company? Holly Java. Holly Java. Right. And we're right here in Warrenville. Um, you can uh, reach us uh, on the web and also at our uh, website. And uh, if you want to call us, you can call us at uh, 630-903-0236. And ask for? And ask for John, the ask, Big Kahuna. Ask for the Big Kahuna. Right. John, it's kind of like, uh, uh, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks Thank for coming so back. Okay. We'll come back to us a little later. We'll be doing radio. Okay. And we'll be able to get that out to you. Great. Thank you, you so leave much. Leave us a card. We'll send you on there. Okay. Uh, you know, for that matter, that worked great. Great, right, I'll leave you. Uh, this is a sample of our uh, all the different of, products. Of the, all the different products for a complete list. Uh, make sure you go on the web and, and take a look. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Sounds great. Right. See you later, John. Okay, thank you. You come back. Oh, I'm great. Right. Sure, why not? All right, Michelle. Chop chop. We gotta get some more guests. You know, they got some. You know, who we really want, but he's uh, extremely busy. <clears throat> Is the yeah. man, the myth, the legend, Kevin uh, Mr. Kevin Sennett, who yeah, is know. not only responsible for this, but as we've mentioned before, the foremost coffee grain expert in the world. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to snag that guy or not. <laughs> I tell you, he's a popular guy. He's doing, uh, I don't know, all kinds of interviews. He's giving speeches. You know, he's modeling clothes. <laughs> he's cleaning, I don't know, aerobic classes. <laughs> guy's everywhere. <laughs> he's everywhere. You know, I just talked to uh, somebody who's helping with the show, and or I mean with the coffee con, and he said that there's already been 400 people who've walked in the door this morning, and coffee con's only been an, um, an hour. 400 people. So, wow. yeah, very well attended so far, and, uh, you know, obviously when people wanted to get their first few cups of coffee in, in the morning, but... I need a cup. I may give me a cup. Yeah. That's what I'm <laughs> I had one very small cup of coffee so far this morning, and I'm a little disappointed. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll have some time to get some more coffee later on. There you go five. You know, and even though I'm not really a, you know, uh, coffee aficionado like a lot of the people here today, uh, I can recognize when it is a really good cup of coffee, especially if it has a lot of cream and sugar in it. <laughs> I'm one of those people. <laughs> it's got to be fresh cream. Man. It's it's gotta be, half that's half right. You know, it's got to be the fresh stuff. And I've actually had the pleasure of um, drinking coffee that's been especially brewed by Kevin Sinnott. And I'll tell you, he really does a great job of brewing a cup of coffee. For even for a person like me who really doesn't know much about coffee, when he brews it, you know it's good. It is really good stuff. Unbelievable. What else did you see out there today? Have you gone any class? Well, you haven't had time. You're I haven't had like time me. to go to the classes. Thank goodness we're getting a spell each other. Your throat gets a little parched, doesn't it? That's right. <laughs> Might have to send you out on a coffee run. That's right. That's uh, right. Before very long. But yeah. There are a lot of people. A lot of the people are going to the different uh, classes. Uh, I don't even know if they're necessarily classes. What do you call them? Seminars? Um, there's seminars. There are some classes uh, that people have been talking about. They got experts um, on everything. They've got experts on everything. You know, there's some really high end uh, coffee brewers here. Um, you know, for instance, Soft Brew and Snowden's here. They're uh, Italian and Swedish company. Uh, they come all over the globe. Mine, of course, is here. Just to be here. I D E W. Uh, What's your answer? Twenty-eight six six hundred. Uh, uh, right Buena of, Vista. No. Right. Uh, but Parker. it's right off of eighty-eight. And right off eighty-eight. Winfield, Winfield Road. Road. Right. So really easy to get to. You can actually see. I think you can kind of see this building from eighty-eight, right? I, I believe much? so. Yeah. yeah. It's on the uh, north side of the street. So you exit to Winfield Road, go down until you hit. Uh, Ferry Road, which is like second or third stoplight, take a right, and it's down uh, a couple of blocks. Yeah. You'll see all the cars, but yeah, it's been a great turnout. It's excellent turnout. 
Um, you know, you can come by, you can sample all different types of coffee. Yeah, the first one that I've sampled so far today was the uh, Starbucks Blonde. Um, and because, you know, Starbucks is a great coffee company, you know, everybody's heard of Starbucks, but uh, a lot of the other uh, coffee companies are just being swamped as well. And uh, there's um, Passion House you talk to, there's what, Holly Java or Java? Holly Jolly Holly, Java. Holly Jolly Java. Only, Hawaii coffee. Only Hawaiian coffee. There's a lot of coffee we're hanging around here. Yeah. If you're not wired, you could be fine. I, no. <laughs> there's Arbor Vide. There's uh, Trifecta, which I think they're a brewer. Um, yes, we did speakers. Yeah. Well, actually, it's a brewery machine. I knew machine by butt. Okay. Which is called the Trifecta? It's called the Trifecta. Did I uh, introduce it or come up with the idea from the track? <laughs> uh, excellent new machine. And, uh, very specific in what they can accomplish here on the cast. Yeah. All right. We have another yeah. guest? All right. All right. All right. I'll, I'll take Come off and we'll have our guest there. Give me a cup of coffee. Is, uh, Cream and uh, sweetener, please. I don't know. Hey, how you doing? Good. Scoot over a little bit. Here's some paper towel this way. Okay. So you can make sure that uh, you're the camera. I see. Speaking of there, I'm Mike Miller. Julian Hirsch. Julian Hirsch. Yes. Julie. You got a card so I can... Uh, don't you? have a card. That's all right. Drag okay. one back over. You're one of the uh, exhibitors here. I am. Uh, coming from Buzz Killer Espresso. Uh, we Buzz Killer Espresso. Love Buzz Killer Espresso. We have a coffee shop in Wicker Park. And we have a Rosteria, uh, it's located in downtown Chicago. And we also have an online site that we sell a lot of products, grinders, espresso makers, those kinds of things. Uh, if you go to buzzkillerespresso.com, you can find it right there. Buzzkillerespresso.com. Yep, and uh, if you're in Wicker Park, our shop there, we serve all our coffee there. Wicker Park is suburban of Chicago. For those of you yeah. that may not live in the Chicago area, are familiar with the city, correct? Correct. It's, uh, we're at 1644 North Damon Avenue. 1644 North Damon. North right Damon down Avenue. the city, just west. Yep, exactly. And uh, we have a website that you can go to there, which is also the first part of our website. You'll see that either the cafe or the roasteria. And okay. we uh, have a lot of information about the coffees, about the products. We review all the products. Uh, we do it from a kind of a consumer standpoint. Which is we just try the product, say, hey, do we like this or not? And we say, this is our impressions. We're not we're not manufacturers of the products. Yeah. We're just basically people who serve the coffee, who love the coffee. And so we take that sample, and here it is. Okay. So do you sell, I mean, in terms of the coffee itself, uh, well, you got to give us some tips. Do you, do you sell the espresso? Or no, we espresso and drip both, and we do tea. And we have products for all of this uh, stuff, and different products, because the different products, you know, it's, you know, you can't just, it's not 